I've said for many years, never trust someone who chooses dominion over another person. That's why I have a problem with cops. I know some good cops, some nice guys who are police officers. But by waking up every day and choosing to wear the uniform, choosing that authority to lord over your fellow citizens, that to me is corrupt. It is instantly corruptible. And I think it takes a nobility that I have seen very rarely for that not to be um, damning. Just like politics. The thing we have to understand about America is our entire country is built on two principles, greed and slavery. That's a hard pill to swallow. To understand why our politicians are so vile, we have to peel back the curtain a little bit and understand a little bit about why American society is so vile. Plus, America has a history. On the rare occasion, we do get a candidate that has the morals, integrity, ethics, and character worthy of the high office. The system or the people won't support them. The plain and simple fact is there's a level of narcissism that's involved with someone who wants to run for office. You know, just like with the police example. Be wary of somebody who wants to have that kind of power over other people. Just like with politics, I think it's like a, a magic wand. The wand chooses the wizard. In that, if someone is aspirational, you know, if, if they aspire to the White House, if their dream is to rise the political ranks, we need to be suspicious of that person. Immediately. They need to be held under scrutiny, more scrutiny. Politics should choose the people. It should be a calling. We need people in office who can represent the people and not their own self-interests. And, and the reason that our politicians are so vile is that we exist under a, a, a society who has lowered the bar consistently. Every level, we've lowered the bar. We've lowered the bar to where there's no accountability. And, 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 and for our politicians, there's no accountability ever. Our politicians aren't held accountable. Richard Nixon resigned. It's just... And what happens when you, when you don't hold narcissists accountable and you add the seven deadly sins, an economy built solely on greed and a win-at-all-costs mentality from Spygate, Deflategate to Watergate, our sports and politics, and an insurrection to overthrow a free and fair election, win-at-all-costs.